What's up guys, this is a list of five video games that absolutely dominated and consumed my life at one point or another. Number five on the list is Far Cry 4. Now at the time I was actually unemployed so I had a fair bit of time up my sleeve and my mate Jum suggested that I get into the series by playing Far Cry 4. I actually didn't even know Far Cry was a series so it was pretty good to get started with Far Cry 4. Now, I actually started playing this game at 8 a.m. one morning, and at 7 a.m. the very next morning, I was confronted by a very, very concerned mother. Uh, I didn't realize how much time I'd been playing this straight. I'd actually taken three breaks during the whole time that I was uh, playing Far Cry 4. One was to eat a bowl of Fruit Loops, another one was to eat some steamed Dim Sims, and third one was to feed the dogs. Oh, chill, chill, chill. Hang on. Check this out real quick. Not this bit, but the next one. Yeah, here we go. Yikes! We got that in replay? Yeah, check this. I'm not even sure if this is legal. Yikes, fellas, am I right? RIP to that bloke. Anyway, mum actually referred to me as a mushroom that day because I was playing in like a dark, damp sort of corner of the lounge room. I had like all the blinds closed and the outside shutters pulled down. Just absolutely in my zone. So yeah, I played it straight for 23 hours with those three small breaks. And I think I ended up playing the whole game and finishing it within like... 48 50 hours but very safe to say that that game absolutely consumed my time number four on the list is a nintendo 64 game james bond goldeneye uh this game pretty much raised me as a kid this game was just every night after school i would play this i would start from level one smash it all the way out to the last level uh on weekends when i had friends over and cousins and stuff we were just playing multiplayer flat out golden guns yeah, basically just spent a large portion of my childhood just smashing out Goldeneye. I've actually recently picked up a Nintendo 64 because we got rid of our original one. Um, and I picked up Goldeneye again to play it, but fuck me, I have no idea how the fuck anyone was able to use the 64 controllers. Nintendo should be arrested for that fucking retarded shit they pulled with that controller because it's fucking impossible. And just swing around with one joystick. Nowadays we're fucking gifted, we've got, you know two joysticks for that sort of shit, but fuck me, it was an absolute talent to be able to do some shit with that 64 controller, that was fucked. Number three on the list is probably the most recent and definitely the most frustrating one, uh, that is Overwatch. Now, 2017 for me was just dominated by Overwatch. It started off just, you know, playing with mates, squadding up, you know, having a good time, just as online gaming should fucking be, but it just took me over my life. I just absolutely dominated i uh, was just going competitive season after competitive season just dealing with all the shit all the buffs all the nerfs just trying different characters and just i ended up like spending i think most of my time playing junk rat probably because you don't have to aim and it's just easy to fuck shit up uh, i got a bit of soldier time we got pretty good with mccree which yeah that's another story but yeah, Overwatch definitely took up a large portion of my time last year i've since swung from overwatch to the PUBG train uh, another frustrating game. It's still in beta mode though, so we'll let it run its course. But yeah, Overwatch definitely, definitely consumed my life. Number two on the list could potentially be an actual series rather than just one game because it was hard to pick one from this series. This is the Tony Hawk Pro Skater series. Uh, started back from Tony Hawk 1 and Tony Hawk 2 on the PlayStation. Tony Hawk 2, man, that absolutely just dominated my life as a child. It was just the same as Goldeneye. It was just after school, it was just on the weekends, it was all we did, me and my brother. I actually used to get real mad if I'd come in to play, because we had like a PlayStation room, or it was like a games room, and then our bedrooms. And I'd come into the kid, the gaming room, and if my brother was playing it, I'd get so mad at him, I'd try and fight him, I'd like pull the controllers out of the console, I'd be turning it off with the Switch, I'd be just causing an absolute scene because I wanted to play Tony Hawk. Um, even though we had two controllers, but if he was just playing career mode or doing something like that, and I just was like, nah fam, give me the control, I want to run this bitch, but I'd get definitely mad at him, and uh, yeah, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, probably Pro Skater 4 is probably the one that I spent the most time on, uh, the zoo level, like I just absolutely love the zoo level, Alcatraz level, I was in America in like 2016, I went to Alcatraz, took me skate, uh, skateboard, didn't pull off an Indy 900 though, I wasn't quite as good as Tony Hawk, but yeah man, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4, but this series as a whole, I think I stopped playing at about American Wasteland, um, I don't know, more things came along, I suppose, and started playing that, but a large portion of child and teenage was, yeah, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, man. That, that was some good games. And finally, number one on the list of games that consume my life. Again, it's definitely a series now. 
um, but at the time it was the first of the game of the series and I owe my boy Eddie thanks for introducing it to me check Eddie out at Eddie Baggins on Twitch he live streams but yeah this game Gears of War now Gears of War is number one of my favorite games of all time uh, in year eight at school Eddie was like hey man come over on the weekend we'll go to the golf course hide in the bushes for some golfers and we'll play some uh, we'll play some Gears of War I was like oh yeah sweet had no idea what Gears of War was went around there he hands me an Xbox controller. Now, at the time, I was PlayStation 2, PlayStation through and through. Like, there's no way you could get me to play Xbox. So, he handed me an Xbox controller, and I immediately thought, we're about to fight. We're going to have to fight this one out. And he's like, no, 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 just give it a go. So, we played Gears of War. I think we played through, like, half the campaign that afternoon. And it was time for me to go home. And I was like, all right, I'm going to head straight to Kmart and buy this on PlayStation. And he's like, no, nah, man, you can't get it on PlayStation. I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, this is an Xbox exclusive. So, I made a decision, I saved up, I bought an Xbox 360, I bought Gears of War, and basically been Xbox ever since, to be honest. So, the Gears of War campaign, the main one, I smashed that a few times, I've done it on easy mode, done it on hardcore mode, and then I did a duo with Blaher, me and him smashed it out on Insane. Man, taking down General Ram on Insane was probably like the top three highlights of my life, and then... Gears of War was actually the first game to introduce me to online gaming. Um, yeah, basically, we just used to play Annex on Gridlock just day in, day out. And I got real good with the sniper. And then continued through Gears 2 with Horde Mode, Gears 3, Judgment Day, and then recently with Gears of War 4. And yeah, it's just as a series, it's taken up a large portion of my life. And it's fucking awesome, to be honest. Fuck me, I'd be fucking Devo if fucking Gears of War was never invented. Well, I wouldn't fucking know that it wasn't invented, but still. Anyway, that's it, guys. That's my top five video games that consume my life. Uh, if you enjoyed it, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you, guys.